Right guys, welcome back to another episode of Bows, Guns, Rods and Reels. As you can see, I've cut up my water buck into nice block sizes, about 2 inches. And I've added enough fat. And then also I'm throwing over um, spice. And I'm also throwing about 500 milliliters of Worcester sauce. And then I also throw about 500 milliliters of brown vinegar. Um, it's really easy recipes. Normally on the spices you can just read the instructions. It will show you exactly how many and how much of how of everything to put in. So it's quite simple. Then you just give it a nice mix up. I also am using Crown's Drival Spice at the moment and it works very well. What I normally like to do, I keep my meat in the cold room for at least a day, 12 hours once I've mixed the spices up. I have a beautiful three-phase mincer which runs these blocks um, in a magnificent speed of time. It's um, really so comfortable to work with bigger machines more of an industrial machine man it just makes the work so so much easier then i put on my machine and i start mincing Right, so once your mince is done, this is the tricky part, the intestines, as you can see, I'm using sheep intestines, and you open it up, and you just put it over your probe, and yeah, this is the only thing that does take quite a lot of time, um, luckily, once your probe is full, then you have loads and loads of meters um, that you can fill up with the fresh minced meat and they will be ready for hanging after this process. As you can see here you just fill up your casings with the mince that you've made and yeah then they are ready to be hung as you can see yeah there you have it nice and simple easy one thing i've noticed i like to to lay my drivers down because it keeps all the moisture inside inside of the the casing so as I said, that, that's my preparation. I like doing it that way. If you hang them, sometimes they have a tendency to drip and all your sauce runs through the meat, between the meat and the casing and drips down at the bottom. Something like this that happens with a biltong. You can see there's no drippings at the driver side. So it keeps it nice and moist. It takes, it, it takes maybe, it does take probably a day or, or so longger to, to dry out but at the end of the day you have all of your, your sauce and your spices that is still inside of your casing so that's the way I do it. Alright guys, I really hope you in, enjoyed seeing me how I process the dry horse and the biltong so I hope you learned something. I do have two huge fans that I use just to put a nice amount of air on them to keep the flies off and whichever else as you can see the fans really work a lot so 
so that helps them to dry out faster and it also helps to keep off the flies and so on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button for future videos. I have loads and loads of videos posted. Um, go and have a look at them on my channel, Bose Guns, Rods and Reels. Um, hit the thumbs up if you like the video, if you learned something, if you have any questions, pop it in the description, um, in the comment section down below. My name is Evan Smith and you're watching Bose Guns, Rods and Reels. And remember, shoot straight and fish hard. Cheers.